Some call Adamstown the antique capital of the U.S. And here at Stout's Antique Mall, they have about 70,000 square feet just full of them. But of course, there's more to Adamstown than just the antiques. Today we're going to talk to you about some of the history of the town and other places to go if you visit. Adamstown, a small town sandwiched between Berks and Lancaster County, was founded on July 4, 1761. It was then established as a borough in the 1800s. Adamstown started out with a small population of 300 and has stayed fairly small since then, with today about 1,800 residents. Main industry at one time was Bowman's Hat Factory. It was very large at one time. Another popular place in town is Stout's Black Angus Restaurant, which Edward Stout started back in 1964. The young kid that looks like he's promised no money down. Uh, I, had, I rented her for like six months of nominal rent and then I went into a long-term sales agreement. That's how I started. I was 24 years old. You know, it was a struggle. Those first couple of years, I almost went pro, but I lived in the basement. I struggled and it came around. In addition to the restaurant is the Stouts Brewing Company, which is the first U.S. craft brewery since Prohibition. Consider some of the breweries before Prohibition were more like we were, you know, making beer the right way, the right Heitzkabort way, the old German way, and uh, now we're doing it again. Other places to check out in Adamstown include Stoutberg's German Village and Shops, Good's Potato Chips, Bo Ringer's Drive-In, Dave's Diner, and all the antique shops. Years ago, if you wanted antiques, you came to Adamstown. So I put an extension onto the, the building here, and I started with some in the basement, out of basement room. And then I added on and added on. Having raised his whole family here, Edward Stout wants to continue making memories in the place he's called home for over 40 years. It's a nice little town, and uh, uh, I wouldn't know where else I'd want to live. And of course, no good old community is complete without a nice park for the kids. What can I say? I'm a big kid at heart. If you want to learn more about Adamstown, you can check out Chad Umble's print article, which will be in the Sunday LNP, as well as on our website, LancasterOnline.com. In Adamstown, I'm Irene Snyder.